Hello everyone, welcome back to Aeropolis, or Aeropolis. I will figure out the name of this, I haven't released a video yet for this, so... Anyway, I just logged in and it gave me daily rewards, so I have no idea what these are. But, okay. Loot box, oh I got some string, that's pretty good I suppose. Lob these away, and some cake. Nice. Right, I did say between episodes that I would, like, you know, tidy this place up. So, um, and I didn't, obviously. But I'm going to do that now. So, yeah. Uh, I'll meet you back once I've done some tidying. Much more tidy. There we go. So, um, I did do, this is not really automation, right? But I, I put this up here. I need to put a mesh back in there. Let's use this mesh. Yeah, I don't want to waste any charges on this. I um I put some dirt through the tier two mesh and I got some turf out of it and apparently you need turf to get like granite, diorite and andesite so we might have to look into that but for now I just want to obviously get more cobblestone and stuff so I'm gonna stick that in and what that should do is turn this into gravel the gravel then gets pushed into this strainer and then because of the, the wooden hopper I've got. I think. I think that's how that's going to work. I've got some dirt in here right now. Because I want to get some more stone. So yeah. I'm just waiting to see if this actually. There you go. we got gravel. Uh, I'll be back when this is done. Oh. There we go. That is now getting us some gravel in there. So this is kind of. You just put cobble in the top. And then you get gravel out, out the bottom. I'm wondering if I put a, another hopper here and then put a chest or a drawer for cobblestone and then that could just like get us a load of copper and coal out of that. That might work. Right, here we go. This might, this might work. Let's give it a go at least. Uh, oh wow, I can actually get quite a bit. Okay, that's three. Stick those in there and that will... Perfect. Perfect. I'm actually going to buy those keys now, I think. So if we get these and we shift, or is it, I forget how you do this. Alt, alt, no, shift, click. Does it have to be in the offhand? I think it does. How the heck do I get the money out of this? Um, right click, just right click, click. I'm pressing right click. I don't know why it's not giving me the money out of these. Right click on here. Oh, you can use it from here anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take the draw lock key. I don't really use the concealment key that often, so I'm going to ignore that one. Orange spray. Uh, there's a glowstone spray in here somewhere. I might nab that at some point. I think that might be pretty good for us. That means we can like get rid of all these torches and just spray stuff with glowstone. Keep it going. Anyway, these things are really good. I can lock this one up here so it's always going to be cobblestone. And then I can just like show how much is in there. Uh, I'll keep these over here for now. Can you get a backpack or a rucksack or something back? Uh, doesn't look like it. So I'm guessing sophisticated storage isn't in here. That's interesting. I also noticed that refined storage and no AE2 is in this. So there's no applied energistics. We have to do refined storage, which I'm okay with. I quite like refined storage. I actually like it more than AE, but don't tell everyone on my server that because they all love it. Love AE. Anyway, what, what can we do with stone essence other than making stone? So if we were to get some coal essence, so it looks like you can only get it from coal though. Yeah, we could uh, we could do that. What about fire essence? Redstone apparently gets you some fire essence. Why would you need fire essence though? No idea. Oh, maybe um, that's how we get soul sand later on. I'm not sure. Right, we're gonna have a look at hostiles today. So we just need to open that one up. Need to get some bones. Uh, we actually have string. We got that as our login bonus today. Oh, we have to keep it in our inventory for longer. There we go. So I guess it's an extra string. That's pretty good. Well, we'll probably need that later. 
yeah, I think for this drying table. That looks relatively easy, actually. We should try and do that. Make one of those, grab some of these. Oh, one, two. I think it was like this. Noise. Stick that down there for now. In fact, I'm going to move it over. Plonk it there. I got my dirt chest 9000. I might get rid of this. It's kind of a meme chest, right? But I don't really need it here, if you know what I mean. So I was just looking through the quest, and I believe all we really need to do... Oh, by the way, you can press A on all of these, and it will bookmark all of them for you. See? How cool is that? I only recently learned that, to be fair. So, um, oh, and I already... Yeah, we can go here. I also need the, the bundled flesh. Uh, so what were we doing? Oh yeah, so I think it's 28. 28 is the magic number. So we're going to go out 28. And we'll build a little box. Aha, here we go. We look like we've got a few mobs in here now. Oh my goodness, hello. I'm just going to take these out. Okay, oh, and I got withered? You're kidding me. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, what, really? What the heck is this? Death stone. Okay. That's super annoying. Why did that happen? Okay. Uh, why? There's so much stuff. There's another skeleton. There's loads of skeletons. Flipping heck. They do a lot of damage. I'm on hard though, aren't I? That'll be it. What the? F He's like a little sniper. There we go. Right, I can get in there now. See what all of the spoils are. Okay, there's a lot of crap on the ground. What does this do? Press shift for more. Right, click. Ow. Okay, thank you for that. Um. Right, we don't need the grave dust. We do kind of need the bone. Uh, I'll put these back down, but I want to get these basic loot. Okay, we'll, we'll run back over to base. I'll drop st some stuff off at least. Right, I had a fight with a zombie and a bunch more of the um, skeletons. They're over there. Loads of skeletons spawned. So, what do we get from this? Oh, I didn't even need to get the gunpowder. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of still scared of um, creepers. But wait a minute. Can I not just do this? Sweet. I've just claimed this area, meaning that if a creeper explodes, it won't destroy any of this stuff. Me like that. Right, so what did I get? I got some rotten flesh. You know what? We just look at the quests. I forgot about these. There we go. Got some e-bucks for that one and that one. Still need to get spider's eye. Spider's eye is the, the thing right there. Uh, I think, though, I can use this like that. And we get ourselves some bundled flesh. Stick those in there. How much do we get? Oh, we get two leather per. That's pretty good. Okay, whilst we wait for more spiders, what I am going to do is... I am not going to make that many. I'm going to make eight of these. I want to see how many of these make. Four. Okay. So, if we use this... Oh, brilliant. It's raining. Why is it always raining? So that was 16 to get one of these soaked pages, and then you stick the soaked pages through. Okay, you get another one out of this from the quest anyway, but you stick it through here, and you get yourself a paper. And I believe we need five more pieces of paper. Right, there we go. I actually made one more by accident, because I forgot about the one in the quest. But this... Oh, hello. Two books. Brilliant. That would be the end of this chapter if I got a spider's eye, but I haven't got that yet. Well, that's fine. Um, we can actually, I think, if I do submit, yeah, we can submit these things. So I need six bones. I've only got four. Bugger. Um, what about string? Is there string in here somewhere? No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, we need 64 of any sapling. Can I do multiple types? Okay, so I expanded this little little 
stoop that I've got right here and uh, started using dark oak because, yeah, I can submit like all of these now. Uh, yeah, I used dark oak. I thought I had to do them all at the same time. That's so annoying. Anyway, I use dark oak because you can put them in a 4x4 four four and um, you get quite a lot of uh, like wood out of it. There's more wood over here. And we do need some charcoal, or tiny charcoal, let's say. Have I not got any? I've got some. Good. So I can use this one to give me charcoal for the rest of them. But that is that one done. Uh, I need some stone essence. Uh, that comes from dirt, right? Stone essence comes from dirt. And dirt essence comes from... I'm guessing these, yeah, so I'll put this one back free. Although, if I remember correctly, you need like a lower tier of mesh. So, if I grab some string, I think I can use the string for the mesh. What's this one at? 160, it's not bad. Not bad, actually. So, if I do that... It's actually quite quick. So tier one though, this is tier two. I don't know what this one gives us like is it any better. Anyway, that should be getting us some some dirt essence right there. We need sixteen of that, I think, and then we need sixteen stone essence, which comes from dirt, I believe. So we can use the dirt essence once we've got it to turn it into stone essence, right? All right, there it is. There it is. We got. Oh no, because we have to submit it. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we should get some just out of the like mini amount of dirt that we've got right here. So I'll put that one in. Yeah, there we go. We're getting some stone essence from that. Right, there we go. There's all the stone as well. That was a kind of a pain. Submit all of that. Mini charcoal, that's what I was doing as well. So if I grab... Oh, I forgot. Okay, well, that's fine. I can just let these, like, smelt up right now. Let's take these out of here. I should probably split these up as well, thinking about it. There we go, mini charcoal. We can submit that, and that gives us another... Oh, brilliant. Well, at least it's gone uh, nighttime. Now I can have a sleep. Right, I just handed in some leafies, leafy strings, and now I just need to make wooden tools. I'm I'm just gonna make yeah, just regular wooden, wooden stuff. Uh, dark oak was an amazing idea, by the way, because I got a load of um load of food from it as well. So if I do that, that what was the other one? Was it just a that oh, was a sword? Okay, we could do that. And oh, you have to click on each one of them. That's that's fine. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, yes. And again, that that now unlocks the entire the entire bar. Oh, ah, feel this feels weird not having the torches on my my zero button or nine button. Sorry, not zero. Yeah, not that I ever do that. I always use my scroll wheel. <laughs> it's odd. But anyway. Um, right, so we've done all of that. I think I'm waiting on some bones to finish this one off. And then it's just bulk making loads of dirt, cobblestone, and gravel. Okay, we could do that. Oh, oh, I almost missed it. Almost missed it. We got the spider's eyes. And I also got a hat. Rare hat grab bag. Okay, we might have to... See what we get. Oh, Halloween. Nice. Okay, what is this one? Halloween beanie. There's our, our hat right there. How is it Halloween? Let's have a look. Uh, what the heck is this thing? Oh, maybe this is the thing that was my... Um... Um, 
Is that going to give off particles? I feel like we need to wear this because it's near enough Halloween right now, isn't it? Okie dokie. After a while of killing these things and getting killed myself like a bunch, we now have unlocked another one into our inventory. I love it. Right there. Perfect. Right, now comes the time where I just sift the absolute heck out of all of my saplings that I've got. So we've got like an absolute ton in here. Why do we get saplings? Where do we get those from? From dirt, but you get a load of dirt from saplings. Interesting. Right, not gonna lie, went out for a little bit of a coffee and we have got ourselves a bunch of gravel. In fact, that is enough right there for us to complete this entire quest, although there it is. CC Wern. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff away because I'm aware that we might get spammed with a bunch of gear. What the heck is that? Improves ev everything. Combines all of the upgrades. Lovely. Right. We're going to do that. And that should make it quicker, right? Can we make those? We can. Improved input resource generator. I love it. Right. What's this one here? Oh yeah, I removed the uh, uh, the wooden hopper. Anyway, so we got this now. So I think now that we've got some more gravel, if we stick that back through the sieve, uh, mm, is that right? Yeah, if we put it back through with the eroding water, so we've got that up the top there, right? We can turn it into sand. And then sand has a bunch of recipes. So if we go to like um, this one here. Yeah, there you go. Gives you like cactus and other gubbins like that, like bamboo. I know bamboo is actually quite good from what I've seen. I was looking up the recipe for the mesh earlier. What is this resource generator? So let's have a look. Not running. Check the block above is valid. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Please don't say... Okay, we do get that one back. Ah. I know what we're supposed to do here. Can we do a gravel? Resource generator 2 is a block that will duplicate items like cobblestone and stone. Any block that can store items can be placed underneath and the resource generator... Uh, underneath the resource generator 2, including hoppers and chests. Gotcha. Okie dokie. I'm proper out of food. I might have to invest in making some farmland and putting that through here and then making a little farm. I think that might be a good idea. What was I doing? Oh yeah, copper. And I'm going to get myself a new copper chest. So I do have a chest that I can turn into a copper chest. I want to see how this works. Where do we put this? I'll probably put it here. I'll put it there like that. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that doesn't work, the gravel. I should probably look this up, resource generated too. So, oh, you can speed it up by putting these, I don't know, around them or something. Is that, is that how that works? Never mind. Anyway, this one looks like we can do cobblestone, basalt, tough, uh, dripstone, any of the coloured Cobblestone and then calcite. Gotcha. Okay, so what the heck was that? <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know why that's on the uh, Ultimine button, the old Ultimine button, but I can whistle now. Right, I'm going to stick the gravel back through and uh, we should get some sand. And then we're going to see what we get out of the copper mesh for some sand. Never mind, you can't do that. Does it have to be the, the like really low tier mesh? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, I'll get a regular mesh. Ah, oh, amazing. It's got the, the twerk when it comes to like food as well. So we can get like a bunch of tomatoes doing this. Or onions as well. 
Ah, this is so good. And uh, beetroots as well. Uh, I'm out of inventory space, that's fine. Uh, cabbage. Get loads of cabbage, why the heck not? Oh, oh we're swimming in food right now, I like that. Um, it turns out you need eroding water, so this won't work. Uh, yeah, for this, it just doesn't work, that's fine. Uh, anyway, I need to eat a bunch of stuff. I want to get my health all the way back up, just in case I fall off. Uh, my health is still low because I've been attacking those things over there every so often. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I just I literally just paused, but I looked up this recipe. Tomatoes, cabbage, and beetroot gets you a mixed salad, which looks like a really good recipe. So we've got tomatoes, uh, beetroot are down there as well. So I'm going to get rid of the onions for now, and we'll come back to those later. And would you look at that. This does give us a little bowl every single time, but it's going to give us so much saturation that it's worth it. We've got food sorted, basically, just with these three crops. Love it. Right, how do we make these resource generators? Uh, it looks like we need lava and water. Yeah, okay. There's no way of getting that. Cool. Looks like it's just this one. I was thinking I'm going to make the exact same thing that I've done here, but on this side, and then move this uh, maybe to the middle, right in the corner here. And then I could put the hopper on top and just have it taller, right? I think that is probably a plan right there. Right, I've set this all up. So uh, it's basically a carbon copy of this, except it's got an extra step. And all of these are eroding waters right here. So this one up here has only got an improved because I don't think I can make the blue one right here, the improved input upgrade. It requires these resource generators, but I don't have access to that yet, right? Because we need cobble, we need lava and water, and we don't have lava and water yet. Otherwise, that would be very easy for us to do. But because of that, I've got two of these, which are the improved everything upgrade. And that's just going all the way down. Sand is going in here. And as you can see, that is generating us some stuff. There's a lot of quests. Let's have a look. I love it. Apparently this one's really good. So we might actually make one of those. Now we've actually got enough to do that. Let's see, see how much we can get out of this. I think the durability is supposed to be really good from what I can see. Yeah, 320. That's amazing. That's better than... Ah, near enough. Near enough. Better than the copper mesh that we've got. Um, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know why we would use this over anything else. I suppose we could just grow these, can't I? Uh, but yeah, I don't see any difference. They're just like regular... I mean, we should probably set up one of these fishing rods at some point. I think that would be a good idea. So we put a fishing, fishing rod in there, and I'm guessing it uses a durability. And then a durability of the um, the mesh as well, and you can get like a random random amount of uh, like fish fishy stuff. Plus you can put these through again with the eroding water to get some bones. That, we probably could have done that instead of like killing stuff for bones anyway that gives us that. only a tier one mesh okay cool now it wants us to make some glass and that gets us to mud and then pack mud and then we go all the way down i've already got beetroot that's odd interesting right anyway that gets us use it gets us to the summoning block we'll come to that when when i finished all of these right that got us some glass I just smiled up some sand, right? And then mud, it looks like purified water. Oh no, here we go. Okay, just put some dirt on a drying rack. That's... Crap, I don't have any dirt. Uh, yeah, we've got some dirt essence over here, I reckon. Not much. All right, I'll put this, I'll put this back through. It's got enough durability right there. Uh, it says soaking table. I'm wondering. Okay, we probably... I'm out of string. Flipping egg. 
Oh, I'm not. You know why? Black seed. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll get rid of this wood. And I'll plant this flaxseed and we get some more string. Um, we could probably waterlog. Oh, you know what we could do? Instead of making a new one, I'll just get rid of this trap door. Eventually. There we go. I'll come back to that. I'll just pick this drying rack up, or this drying table up. And I'm guessing I can literally stick it in there. It doesn't waterlog. Interesting. Okay, ignore everything I just said. And uh, what you want to do... I'm going to try it, like, right here. Uh, water bottle. There you go. You just put water bottle on the mud. And then, there you go. You get some mud. i oh, get a bunch more of it. Packed mud. Uh, we could use bamboo. Or we could use some straw. And how do we get straw? Cutting table. Bamboo. I forgot bamboo was a thing now. It's like an actual thing in Minecraft, isn't it? Like, um, you know, blocks of it and stuff. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Um, fine. What, what's another way of getting straw? I think it's just rice. You know what? We're not going to do rice. Okay, fine. We'll just do bamboo. I swear we're going to get a bunch of it. I'm going to plant a bit of bamboo there as well, just in case. And I'm guessing... Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'll get us a bunch more as well. Bamboo is super easy to come by. Thank you to the twerk mod. And then uh, we can use this and this. Get some packed. Now, what's it want us to do with packed? Get some mulch. Ah, okay, so we need some leafies. Uh, I will, I'll just use this one for now. And I've got some shears. Just break that, put that down. Da, 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 da. Okay, out of this. Mulch. Okay, we could do a bit more of this to be fair. What's this stuff give us if we do this? Uh, it gives us a chance. Oh no, never mind. That's later on. You get some seeds. That'd be good. If we can get some seeds. Carrot. It doesn't look like we can get these two. But beetroot we've already got. Wheat. Okay. Okay, we've got these two as well. So we're literally just looking for carrot and some seeds. If I stick that one in there, hopefully we get carrots and seeds. I'm not holding my breath though. Ah, oh, we got seeds. That's good to see. Okay, I'm kind of confused a little bit because it does say right here in all of these quests, obtained by sieving packed mud in a strainer. Now, if you actually look at this, you need mulch, not packed mud. And for the potatoes, at least, you need an iron or amethyst mesh. Now, I think Amethyst might actually be easier for us to get because you get it from Grains of Infinity. But I also think that you get Iron from, or at least Iron Nuggets, from Grains of Infinity as well. So, why don't we look into getting some Grains of Infinity uh, so we can make one of these meshes, get this one done. Um, before we do that, actually, let's, uh, let's get ourselves some wheat. Because that is also a quest. We'll put those back. Um, I still quite like the salad things that we've got going. Uh, also, I can just stick these in here. Swap that out. I forgot that leaves give you... Uh... Ah, they give me apples as well. That's kind of good for food as well. I should have done that earlier. Anyway, um, what were we doing again? We were... Oh, we need quite a lot of hay hay bales and then that gets us one of these summoning block thingies uh do we need that oh okay so it wants us to make some clay and then make all of the automation -y thingies okay and then mixed stone which is terracotta mixed mixed stone what does this do okay um Tin. This is okay. How do you get tin then? Oh, you put that with the eroding. 
Right, okay, so we, we'll probably have to use one of these, I think. I don't think the sand's really doing us any good. We're only getting, like, this stuff, which we can basically take all of this stuff and grow it ourselves now. So I don't think this was a good setup to automate. I'm just putting that putting that out there. We shouldn't have automated this. This was, however, just one stack of cobble that I put through this. I could probably do it with putting a stack of cobble through this. And this one here will just, you know, actually that will run out of durability. And that one has run out of durability. Brilliant. But yeah, if we put it through this, we'll just get loads of like copper. Always good. Right, okay, I went and got everything I needed for this summoning block, which is the last quest right here. Use to summon mobs. Press U on this block to search the spawn egg of the mob. Uh, you want to spawn, place the block, uh, wait, place the block shown in JUI below the summoning block and right click it with an item shown to summon that mob. Okay, let's have a look. So if we do that, so we can summon a witch. That's actually quite interesting. We can summon a rabbit if we wanted to. We can summon an enderman. Ooh, that might be quite useful to get an ender pearl. Summon a chicken. That would be good for eggs. Sheep for wool. I like that. Glow squid. Spider. Villager. Interesting, but we need like quite a bit of emeralds for that. Not even sure how you get emeralds. With a skelly. Interesting. We can get a with a skelly later. Summon lightning bolt. Interesting. Mushroom. That's my psyllium. Okay. Uh, get some salmon. Cave creeper. Creep. Yeah, cave spider. Sorry. Creeper. Panda. We can get a panda if we wanted. That's so cool. Okay. That's how you get blazes. Okay. We need some lava first before we do that. Interesting. Summon a horse. I want a horse. Nice. That's how you get a pig. A bit of spud. Right, got ya. Right, that is probably enough for today. So, uh, I'm going to call it there for today. Next episode, we'll probably go up to one of these things. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.